Hello everyone, it's Honey with my Junk Journal Embellishment Challenge number 32. And it's a long prompt this time. It's uh, a black and white portrait photo. So, uh, well, I saw uh, a lot of videos on YouTube where they alter uh, black and white photos with um, tea bags, used tea bags. So I thought, let's try that. And I'm going to make uh, a pocket again because I'm short of pockets. And last week I made this one. And um, well, I thought I have black and white photos over here. And also a photo of this little boy. And I like that. So I think I'm going to try to alter that with a tea bag. I don't know if if I I've never done that before. So I will try. How should I do that? Just tear it. Like so. I cleaned this one, of course. And just glue that on. Can you see the photo then, still? Well, we'll try. Uh, I'm going to use uh, gel medium matte from Amsterdam. Uh, it's not original. Original, it's not in this jar, but I had a little left, so I thought, let's do it in a little jar. I hope it works. It's going to be a bit dark. But I like it anyway. Yes, I like this. I like this. You have to have a photo, I think, with a bit of contrast. Oh, this is lovely. So, it's, uh, it has to dry. I can dry it with my heat gun, if I can get it. Try between... Okay, I have it. <laughs> so, it's dry now. Yes, and I'm going to cut it out. How? Just straight? Yes, I think I'm going to do that. And then I'm gluing it on a piece of uh, cardstock board. And then I cut it with another scissor. So I have a little white border around it, a white coffee dyed border around it. So don't you have to use this? So I'm going to cut it around the edges is it straight I'm not sure it's not straight of course it's not ah. This helps, I hope so, yeah. I never learn it, I think, to cut straight. Yeah, 
even this is not straight. <laughs> This one. Well, this thing doesn't cut straight either. Either, either. And this isn't straight too. glue it on here like so <laughs> no it's not straight well and where are my scissors I think I'm going to use this one I have on it. This one is too big. No, I'm going to use this one. Just a little border around it, like old fashion photographs sometimes have. one and well I should make I would make wanted to make a pocket and I'm still going to do that I think but I like it this way too just a pocket because it's not well it's big enough there's a bit of um, what was it ground espresso on it I need a new thingy this one is well I love it. Oh. Yeah, I think I, I'm going to use it just the way it is now. And it's a bit matte, and I like matte, but all photographs aren't matte. Maybe I should do some... Um, Varnish, gloss varnish on it. Shall I? Hmm. Well, well, let's try. If it works, it works. And if it doesn't, well, it doesn't. <laughs> I'll try to leave it this way. Oops. Um, I mean, it's just only the little photograph or the photo. Make it a bit glossy. Not too much. Well, I have to dry that too. It was cold in here, so I turned out, turned on my little heater. Heater. And now it's getting hot here. Well, I'm almost done. Just dry it a bit.
a little bit. Well, I like it. Yes, it looks like an old photograph, a bit dirty, a bit vintage. Maybe I should uh, make it a bit older, shall I? It's an idea to make it a bit, uh, well, a tear in it or uh, some, some kind of, of, of tape around it a bit on a corner or... I have to think for a while. I'll be back. So, I'm back. Uh, I thought, well, maybe I could use some grungy tape here and there. And I knew I had some. Some from, well, old uh, thingies I did. But... Nick, the booksmith, she had a, um, oh, it's all grungy tape <laughs> and a little thingy here. Well, Nick, the booksmith, she has a um, video about how you can make uh, your own grungy tape. And, um, well, I'll link uh, her video below. And I think I'm going to use a bit of that. I don't know if I made this myself or if it's real grungy tape. Just a bit on the corner, maybe. But just make a tear in it. And glue it with the tape. Could do that. Well, here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Just tear it. Make it a bit grungy. Then glue it again. So you have a real tear, you can see it, and then glue, uh, shall I do that with this, matte medium, I don't know if I'm honest, if that sticks. Oh, here I have. What is this? The yeah, this one. Oops. Should a bit. Yeah, this one. It's a bit grungier. It doesn't stick anymore, of course, because it's old. <laughs> so a bit of matte medium will do. I hope. And just put it over there. And I hope it sticks. I hope it does. Not very. So I'm gluing the back with another glue. You can't see that anyway. Oops. It doesn't glue very well. So I have to do some glue around here a little bit. Well, it 
should be dirty so well it has to uh, dry and I think I like that just make it a bit grungy so you can make your own uh, grungy tape like Nick the booksmith does in her video so and I leave it this way maybe should I do something else another stain on it coffee stain maybe <laughs> why not just a bit grungy so I don't know if that's okay but yeah it's okay but it doesn't if it does something to it well let's try and let's see so this is it <laughs> not quite so but <laughs> it's not old enough so it's just A bit grungier. <laughs> I thought this is it, but it doesn't look used. So I'm just make it a bit like this. So that's better. <laughs> well, I like this. This is my pocket. Uh, everything falls apart here it it always does here <laughs> so this is a pocket good enough good enough yeah I'm happy with it so this is my pocket for today from an uh, an old or an, uh, a black and white portrait photo. That's it. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.